Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Today's topic is homework should be abolished. Now, I welcome the Prime Minister to deliver a speech within three minutes. Hear, hear. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Today's topic is we should abolish homework. We define that we will abolish any and all kinds of homework. We will also abolish spring and summer vacation homework. We think Sweden has already abolished homework, so we would introduce a similar system in Japan. We have two points. The first point is that students will have more free time to pursue their own interests. The second point is that teachers will be able to give higher quality lessons to students. I will explain the first point, that students will have more free time to pursue their interests. We believe that right now, students have way too much homework. We think students have to complete 20 pages each of homework for all subjects, math, English, art, social studies, science. It's ridiculous completely. We think that in addition to this, they have to complete daily diaries or even book reports for their very long summer and spring vacations. Why is this bad? We have two reasons for this. The first reason is that students lose the motivation, not yet, to learn. We think that students would like to learn new things. We see the fascination with which little kids look at bugs or go into the streets to find new things that they can learn. But we think that when students have to work their way through endless sheets of homework, 20 to 30 pages each, it's boring for them and they lose interest in the subject. Which means that even if teachers give out homework to students, students don't learn this. They don't care about the subject and they forget it once their homework is done. But we think the second reason that this is bad is because that students don't have time to do what they are interested in. If you have a student who is interested in programming or maybe a type of art that, teacher, that schools do not provide for lessons, they have less time to pursue these interests because they have to spend so much time doing homework. In addition to this, we think students also have less time to play with their friends or pursue other activities which are very important for them. Yes. Why can you guarantee that majority of students will start to do that variable activity instead of playing game or watching YouTube and wasting time? We think the reason that students waste time right now is because they are so tired by homework that they don't really want to do anything else after school is done. Imagine you're a student and you have two hours of homework a day. Why would you want to do anything that stimulates your brain more when your brain is already tired out from all that homework? We think that this would change if we abolished homework because this would free up after school time for students. Students can now spend those two hours doing things that really stimulate them, that really interest them, that really help them in their later lives. This is why we should abolish homework. Thank you. Thank you. Now I welcome the leader of the opposition to deliver a speech within three minutes. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. We believe that we should not abolish the homework. First, let me rebut to what the government team said. They said like the amount of homework would be ridiculously heavy, but we don't believe it, uh, it is true because the teacher also cares about the interaction between the fr uh, friends, or they also they care about motivation of the child. So they will like you to actually modify the amount of um, the homework. And also, if you submit the homework, you can be praised by the teacher or the parents. So we believe the homework also they motivate the child to study. But also, they said like they can. Um, do up to their interest, but we don't see any importance of it. They go to childhood. Everyone can, I mean, play outside or they playing a video game to uh, seven days, twenty four hours. They say like this because the tiredness of the homework, but we don't see it's likely. Likely, we say the child will likely to waste the time uh, and just continuing watching the YouTube. So we don't see any importance of it. So let me explain. No, sorry, our point. We have the two points. 
First, we believe the hormone is an important process, a learning process. But second, we believe hormone can provide a larger um, access to educational opportunity. Uh, we, I will explain the first point, that is to say how the homework is vital in learning process. So we believe, we, um, I have two points. First, uh, we believe the homework is important for memorization, such as to, um, to memorize how to write Chinese character or how to spell the English words, for example. Those kind of stuff takes time, so it cannot be done in the lecture. So it is something important, something should be done in homework. But second, also like the, uh, when it comes to homework, you can understand where you are bad at. So, okay. So playing with friends or playing outside is also a very important part of a child's growth. Why is this less important than memorization or things you can do with homework? We consider it as important, but we believe it won't be trade-off between the homework and interaction. It can be done, uh, both can be done within outside the house. But within the government side, the child will not likely to study, so it, that is the problem that we're actually talking about. So ladies and gentlemen, so when it comes to the understanding where you are bad at, for example, you can understand what part of the lecture you have to listen carefully, or you have the um, homework of calculation, you can improve your skill and you can catch up to those lectures. In lecture, we can provide only one single, I mean, universal um, content. So it can be like diverse form, but the, the every child, every student have the different, I mean, the back point. So we believe the different contents of the homework is particularly important to read them to catch up the um, uh, contents of the education. We believe it's something particularly important and let you to good, uh, have a good um, academic background and also pursue your own career. So for those reasons, we should not abolish the homework. Thank you. Thank you. Now I welcome the member of the government to deliver a speech within three minutes. Thank you. homework. Let me rebut opposition's first point. They said homework is necessary for education, such as memorization or understanding. However, because those things are important, they should be taught in schools. If we have homework, some students will do homework, but other students will not do their homework. Those students will be completely left behind simply because they do not memorize, because they, uh, because they do not study. Without homework, all students will fulfill this process because it is school which makes sure that they do go that they do, that they do go through this process. Therefore, homework is not necessary for education. Next, let me reconstruct government's first point. They said students do not pursue interest by themselves. However, it is a bad outcome and which is actually created by homework. Because they have homework, and because homework cannot be so flexible, studying is about sticking to disk and just fulfilling 20 pages that they, have to, that they are provided, no matter how they dislike the subject, or no matter how they are tired at that moment. For them, studying is, about, is not about something that they want, but rather about something that they have to do. We want students to uh, have the attitude of active learning, in terms of interest, homework is not necessary. Yes. In comparison of homework and the lecture, homework is more flexible. Don't you think it can fit every student? No, because it is uh, difficult or nearly impossible for teachers to assign different homework for each student because teachers simply teachers do not have the capacity to do so. Comparatively, lectures are better because if these students do not understand the contents, they can, uh, they can ask that question in the, at that moment. Then, let me explain our second point. Teachers will be able to uh, give higher quality of lessons. We believe that currently, homework checking is taking too much of teachers' time. Each teachers have to check various homework for 20 pages for 30 or 40 students that they have in their classroom, which means that 
Uh, those teachers have to stay at school for several hours after all classes are over. Why that is problematic? Because it greatly decreases teachers' time to prepare for the next Boy. class. If we abolish homework, no thank you, our teachers will be able to use that time on preparation. Instead of just reading textbooks a lot, instead of just providing contrast in class, teachers are now able to spark students' and interest by having interactive activities or more experiments or doing role playing in, in class, for example. In this way, students can realize the joy of learning by themselves, which is something really difficult to know only through textbooks or only through homework. Therefore, we believe homework is not necessarily. Thank you. Thank you. Now I welcome the member of the opposition to deliver a speech within three minutes. Here, here. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. hello. We believe that homework should not be abolished. Let me first rebut the government's first point. They said kids will lose free time and they will lose motivation as a result of it. However, I think it is the opposite. Why is this the case? Because under government's world, children will continuously fail and do worse in memorizing stuff. Therefore, they are more likely to fail in exams or tests. They will face like 50 or like 25 in a score of, for example, math mathematics or, or Chinese characteristics test. But under our side, because they do homework, they can do better in memorizing stuff and they can do perform better in the exams. Why is this important? When you do good in a specific, specific, um, specific category, or specific, uh, specific exam, you are going to be more motivated, and you feel like you want to learn more. That is why I think children will be better motivated on our side. As for government's second point, they talk about teacher will lose time. But firstly, I doubt how the quality of the classes right now are that bad, because I don't think the classes right now are that bad to the extent that they can say it will be beneficial to improve the quality of it. I think teachers are doing good right now, they prepare enough for the experiment and stuff. But secondly, we think the teacher can outsource these homework, for example, making the parent correct it or not, or buy some uh, textbook from other professional companies. Now, this next, let me re reconstruct opposition's first point. They said it should be taught in class. But firstly, you can do both homework and class. I don't see what's beneficial under their side. But second, it is impossible to do it in class. Why so? Because memorizing something takes time. It doesn't, it cannot be finished within one hour and so. That's why I think it's impossible for them to achieve it within class. That's why, therefore, we need homework. At last, lastly, then let me explain our second point how uh, children can have a larger access to educational resources. The problem that we see right now is that the rich children who can have access to club schools or the parents who buy, which will buy, for example, textbooks to children can have an access to educational resources. But on the other hand, poor kids who cannot are going to suffer. However, homework can fill in that gap. Homework can, give, can provide the resources for those children and we think that poor kids can get to learn. Why is this important? Before that, go. Rich kids will be able to go to cram school anyway. That means they will have to do both homework and cram school, which will fill in way too much of their time. Then they should choose to do both, right? Because we think homework is at least good. But moreover, we think this existence of homework can allow the teacher to identify which children is doing which doing is children is doing good and what's not. Therefore, a teacher can prepare for the next class. This can also improve the to uh, bottom up the poor uh, poor children who is suffering at the end of the day. But second impact is that children will be custom have a custom to study. Nowadays, children uh, under their side, children will just watch YouTube and play video games and have no custom in studying. But I think homework can allow children to make this custom, and I think this is important because we think education should be the place to equalize the opportunity. Therefore, we believe homework that should not be abolished. Thank you. Now, I welcome the leader of the opposition to deliver a reply speech within two minutes. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. We believe that we should not abolish homework. Let me summarize today's debate. The most important thing is whether homeschool can contribute to children's future benefit. On that point, the idea is pursuing own interest is very good thing for children. But our argument is superior. I have basically two reasons. First of all, we think custom, custom to study by themselves is a more important thing. Because they said that interest is good motivation for the student. But we think if they follow and pursue their own curiosity, consequence will just waste the time. Of course, some students might do some variable experiences, but realistically thinking, that will be rare case. Simply because, as my partner said, majority of students prefer playing game, video game, watching YouTube to that kind of variable activity, and plus, they do not recognize the importance of that kind of activity. But on our side of the house, if we have a homework, instead of that kind of meaningless time, we can guarantee the custom to study by yourself in your house. And we say that it's a very valuable thing. No, thank you. Because after you go out to the society, you have no school, teacher, lecturer. We think custom to study by yourself is very important thing for your success in society. In addition to it, we have to, we, I want to explain to you why homeschool is a good tool to alleviate the inequality between rich and poor. Despite the fact that educational background is a very important thing in a society, if we do not have the homework, additional curriculum, and custom to study will be exclusive for richer family or higher cultural family. And we think that will expand the gap between rich and poor. But on our side of the house, by providing the homework, at least we can guarantee the fair opportunity to access to the additional education for free. And we think that kind of guaranteeing the fair opportunity to that education is a very important thing. That's why currently we provide a comparison education for free to the every single student. Therefore, we think we should not abolish homework. Thank you. Thank you. Now I welcome the Prime Minister to deliver a press speech within two minutes. Here, here. should abolish homework. First, let me rebuttal to opposition's second point. They said larger access to educational resource. However, there are many ways for students to study. Students could ask teachers individually if they're worried about if they don't know what's happening in class or if they can't get good grades. They could ask their teacher after class or lunchtime to teach them. But second of all, we think poor people cannot go to class schools anyways. However, on government side, like we said in our second point, we will have better classes. So we think our side will actually help children get better classes. In addition, they said that homework would help teachers realize what students can and cannot do. However, this too, teachers could do tests in class or ask, ask the students and understand whether the students actually understand or not. Then, I'd like to summarize today's debate. The most important point is whether the existence of homework is beneficial for students. On this point, opposition said that students won't study, therefore homework is important. However, our argument is superior because we enable students to learn a variety of skills. School is not just a place to learn academics. No, thank you. But it's a place to discover your interest and what makes you happy and find what sparks joy in your life. All students are different. They don't fit neatly in a one-way teaching method. In opposition side, they're gonna force them to do homework. It is uncertain if this homework is actually beneficial for students. Like we said, it may lose their motivation to study or they don't even like that subject anyways. On the contrary, actually banning homework will help students pursue their own interests, which may connect to their careers or their dreams or connect or enhance their connections with their family and friends. We think this is just as important as other classes in schools. In addition, we talked about how quality of classes will increase. More interesting classes will lead to students to learn much easier. Therefore, we believe we should abolish homework. Thank you. Thank you. Now I close this round. Thank you for your cooperation. Please stand up and shake your hands.